Hi there, it's Alina Wilson from Exclamate Mastery. Let me tell you a story. Yesterday, I was invited to a sketch off, if you will. It was called Race with the Machines. It was held by Actionable Insights. Uh, they're another exact mate um, trainer out there. They're really cool people. They do a lot of things in the industry for contractors. But anyhow, they invited me as a backup if someone didn't show up to their race that I could go ahead and participate. So someone's plane didn't end up uh, landing on time. So therefore, I went ahead and joined in on the fun. Here's a short video of me getting ready, looking ridiculous. All right, ready? One, two, three, get after it. And here's how my ballroom sketch. So we sketched the room we were in at the Grand America Hotel here in Salt Lake City. It was a um, square ball ballroom, but it had rounded walls and tray ceilings. So if you try to do that and exactimate just off the cuff and think, I'm just gonna change this ceiling to a tray ceiling when you have rounded walls, here's what happens. Yeah, that happened live in front of a bunch of people. And I had to upload the estimate that way because um, I was being timed. So the more time I spent, the more penalty points I was uh, you know, accruing. So I went ahead and just called it and uploaded that sketch. And I'm not sure who won yet, but um, probably wasn't me. But it was a learning lesson for me, which I, I love learning, so um, no skin off my nose. I had a lot of fun, it was super it was super cool. So when I went to bed last night, it was just driving me crazy. I'm thinking, ah, I know I can do this in Sketch. So when I woke up this morning, I had the answer. So I'm gonna show you how, if you have rounded walls in a room, you can create a tray ceiling style room. And uh, it's a little bit of a workaround and looks a little funky, but I think if you, follow along, you'll get the gist of it and you'll see what I'm trying to do here. Uh, it is, of course, a custom complex room, so I know you probably won't come across this too many times in your Xactimate career, but I thought, hey, it'd be fun to show you how I fix this room. And um, yeah, hopefully I get to go back next year and give it a second try. So let's take a look at how I fixed that crazy ballroom sketch. Here I am in that sketch where I have the crazy rooms sitting there. Um, due to the fact that there's tray ceilings in a rounded room, it gives us this nice uh, peppermint look, if you will, <laughs> being on the nicer side of things. Okay, so what, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn this back to a tray, uh, excuse me, we're gonna turn it back to a box ceiling, just like that. I'm gonna take this guy and go back to the box. And what I'm going to do is separate the rooms. And I had two rooms because there's two tray ceilings in these rooms. So that's where it was nice and tricky was that there was um, two tray ceilings. So therefore we had to have two rooms and then combine them um, as a subgroup of, which wouldn't matter anyways for labor and materials. It doesn't matter if I have 18 rooms in here, if I combine them, it's going to see them as one um, on our estimate items grouping tree and exact me will apply the same square footage to all those areas. In fact, that's what we're going to do is create a bunch of multiple rooms here that we're going to fit the tray ceiling into. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and square break. Oh, you can't square break on a missing wall. So we'll have to delete the missing wall, make that whole again. Then we're going to have to go and square break this. And I'm just going to do this randomly. This is not to the exact specifications or measurements of the room because that would take me all day long and um, could get quite time consuming. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually square break the room. In hindsight, what I can do is go ahead and just create a room inside. So I'm just gonna hold down my control key and we're just gonna create a room inside just like that. So that's the first room there and uh, we're gonna make the first room walls, excuse me, first room ceilings are going to be 12 foot 11 actually. The second room ceiling, um, there's two tiers to this tray. So the first one is going to be at, I believe it was 13 foot six. Oops, 13 foot, whatever, it doesn't matter because this is just an example, but there we go, 13 foot six. And then we're going to go ahead and create another room inside of that room, square break, hold down my control key, and you'll see that come in there. And it would be, I think it was 14, two, like that. So let's take a look at 3D. 
There we go, we've got the trays going on. Now you're saying, Alina, this room doesn't wrap around. That's okay. Um, in fact, let me make this a little bit skinnier. It was more like this little look. Yeah, it's more like that. So it's not gonna be exact, guys. I'm not gonna take the, your time, take up your time doing that. But what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna square break off of this guy right here, this wall, so that it will have the same ceiling height as the um, room three. And we're just gonna pull that down and around. Oop, went a little too far there. And since all these rooms are going to be combined, it doesn't matter that I have a bunch of rooms going on here. I'm just gonna check my ceiling height very quickly. Um, I am an X1, so it's a little bit finicky. Let's make sure that ceiling height 14 foot two, and then we've got the 12 foot 11. Y'all, this looks great. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull this room over. Okay, so, and do the same thing and wrap it into this room three, four, five. So we're gonna go ahead and delete the missing wall because I can't do anything with that. And I'm going to go ahead and just create a pop out and I'd just fit that into there like a puzzle. But before I do that, I need to create the missing or the, the, the trays inside of this room. So that's where it gets a little bit more tricky because we're trying to fit one thing into another. So, um, and notice how this room's bigger. That's so that I can create all this gobbledygook over here where it belongs. And then I've got a nice space in the middle where I can fit everything together. So I'm gonna bring this guy over here, about to right there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and create another room. Doodly do. Actually, I forgot to square break, guys. Square break. Boop a doop and another room. This time I'm going to scoot these walls in like so. You can catch my drift, see where I'm going with this. And we're gonna create another room around in just a moment here. In fact, I'm gonna bring him all the way in so it'll be a lot easier on me. Whoops, I held, the, held that uh, control key down. It's a bad habit of mine. Okay, now I do wanna control and bring in another room. And usually exterior walls won't meet exterior walls, so that was unusual. Usually that doesn't happen very very quickly. And then what I can do is just go ahead and do my 13 foot six, I believe. Um, oh, that's wrong room. So we're gonna do 14, 11. You get where I'm going, 14 foot two, something like that. And then 13 foot six on this guy and this guy. And there they are. Now. I'm gonna to have to fit these two guys together, so that's going to be fun. You also can't create a room inside of a space like this. So what it, what would normally happen is I could fit these two together, and um, you know, some, it's hard to get exterior walls to meet exterior walls too. So there's more finagling to be done here. Um, and if you, I'll just go ahead and complete this here, just so we can get this this over with. I will have to do the math to fit this guy into this guy, okay? So that's that's what's going to have to happen. And then what I'm going to do is remove all the walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this uh, recording while I go ahead and fit the, the existing rooms into each other because I will have to do, like I said, I have to do all the math to make this new room fit into the other one. So as you can see here, I have to make these guys here, here, and here, fit here, here, and here. And that's not gonna be very fun for you to watch. I'm just gonna be um, doing the math and going back and forth. So I'll pick it up after I've got the guy snugly uh, fit over here, and then I'll show you how we're gonna remove all the walls and voila, we'll have two tray ceilings. So catch you back in just a bit. Okay, that was a lot of finagling, but I got the rooms all in place. Let me make sure we've got our 12 foot, oh, we gotta do a 12 foot 11 there. And uh, let's take a look in 3D. There we go, we've got our trays. Now I've got all these ugly walls in the way, right? This isn't gonna, let me show you through the floor, the uh, ceiling here. Yeah, it looks a little funky and that's not at all what's going on in that room. So we're just gonna go through and delete all of the walls. Then what we can do is combine all the rooms here in just one second. I could, yes, I understand, I could go through and control and, and delete them all at once, but I still have to click around. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is turn off the room labels so you don't see all these ugly room labels. And uh, then you'll just see room one 
and we'll change the name and I think we'll be pretty much finished here. So there's all my walls. I'm going to select all and we're going to control shift C to combine and then I'm going to choose the original room, which I guess is room two and we're going to put this as ballroom. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and turn off the labels of the other rooms so I can highlight these other guys just like this. Go there and go to show label no. Then I can take my ballroom label. If X1 will tolerate this, let's see. I can hover, hit my space bar on my, uh, on my keyboard and left click hold and drag him to the middle of the room. And now we have a ballroom. Let's see that ceiling. That beautiful tray ceiling. Ta-da! And that's what I should have done yesterday. <laughs> but under the heat and pressure and everybody looking at you, my brain went a little bit mush. And usually, actually, it doesn't come to me on the spot like that. I usually have to take some time, like step away, let my brain just like, you know, mull it over and then come back to a project whenever I do actually have these kinds of things happen. And then I usually can, can get it... Um, Oh, some kind of workaround. I know this seems a little bit crazy, but it would have worked, I think, for the situation. So um, that's how you cre I created that double tray ceiling in the ballroom. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, my name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. For more information on the training that I provide for contractors, go take a look at my website at xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys have a really great week in your business, and I'll see you next week.